Now we invite Dr. Sandhya Penta Reddy, Executive Director, up on stage to address the audience and the dignitaries. Welcome to the Honorable Chief Guest, uh, Mr. Nitin Arora, who's come all the way from Kolkata just to be with you. Um, so that, that, is, uh, that makes the event all the more uh, special for us. And uh, for the rest of you, my esteemed colleagues and dear friends, a very good morning, everybody. Why do I admire computer scientists and engineers so much? Besides being one myself, of course. It's because we exist to make other people's jobs simpler, more exciting. We exist to make them more efficient in what they do. And we exist to bring possibilities to their fields that they could otherwise never dream of. That's why I, ad I admire every next computer scientist, computer engineer so much. We, uh, we bring a special something to every field, don't we? We don't make people jobless, contrary to the... But what we do is, on one hand, we solve the mundane. That is, you know, we take away the mundane problems, the mundane uh, stuff out of their jobs. Yes, we automate it on one hand. On the other hand, we give them tools with which they can become efficient, they can um, do uh, new things, yes, innovate and create in their own fields. Let it be business, let it be science, technology, other fields of engineering, wherever. So that, that is what we are good at. We um, diagnose health problems, yes, we are not medical people, but we certainly help them with their uh, uh, diagnostic equipment. And uh, we help business people analyze terabytes of data, may maybe even exabytes of data. And we make uh, them more proficient in uh, proper decision making. So this is the speciality. This is an honorable profession. Um, I think I see maybe third years here, second year and third years primarily, yes. Um, but after 25 experience of, ex uh, you know, after 25 years of experience, I can tell you, this is a very, very honorable profession. But keep it honorable. That's the request I have today. We do hackathons, we cultivate some ideas in your mind of, you know, how to break things, but why do we do that? It's not to break things, but to know the vulnerabilities and fix those vulnerabilities. We see a lot of students, not our students alone, but in general, a lot of students finding ways to break something, right? So if you're going to break something, some website or some you know, tool out there, are you any better than a thief that breaks into a house you know better. So please keep this an honorable profession. Discourage other people from hacking. Now, if you find a great loophole in some website, let it be Microsoft or VIT or whatever, just let them know. They will appreciate you for that and maybe even make a job offer. But don't break it and then, um, you know, toot your horn on some... Uh, black website or uh, some underground something. Yes, don't do that. So don't spoil this profession for people. So if you know our own vulnerabilities in our website or in VTOP or anything, inform CTS, inform VC or inform somebody or go help them fix it. Yes, it's not just about our thing but about someone else's also. So keep ethics in play. If without ethics, we're not human beings. So that's, that's very important to note. In fact, what I request of you is, before you begin any hackathon, this is something that you want to remind people about. You know, what do we use our knowledge for? What do, you, do you want to be productive or do you want to be destructive? So that's a choice you've got to make. And I hope that our students, especially VIT students, make the right call on that. Um, Yes. So uh, we, lots of excitement is happening in the field of computer science, a lot of ad, uh, advancements. 
So in tune with that, VIT is offering new specializations uh, this year. Um, not, not just VIT Velour, but camp, our group campuses as well. So in the fields of data science, data analytics, and uh, cybersecurity, cyber physical systems, IoT, machine learning, artificial intelligence, and so on. And um, good thing about VIT is you have flexible credit system, so you can choose many different courses from various um, allied fields. So you, um, I hope that flexibility is being utilized in a uh, wonderful way. And um, your dean, sir, has um, <clears throat> talked about unemployability in the field. Um, I wonder how uh, our placement office does it, right? They have already, <laughs> they have already brought four th more than 4,000 placements in 2018 to 19. So I applaud the School of Scope as well as uh, uh, Placement and Training Center to make that happen. And I think it's, the greatness just doesn't just go to uh, Pat Office, Scope, or VIT. It is all of you, too. We can only place you if you're good, right? If you're not good, we cannot do that placement. So every time, we remember that. Each time we boast about our placements, we remember and we acknowledge how good our students are. So keep shining, uh, keep shining bright. And today I believe the workshops are on uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, user experience, and blockchain, um, and I might, uh, cloud computing, yes? Um, so these are wonderful workshops. Contribute to them, learn a lot, and um, um, keep enjoying, keep learning. Thank you.